It is getting close. Hello everybody, welcome back to Moneyball Now. Yes, we basically have three episodes left for this season. We've got today's episode, which is Blackburn and Norwich. There'll be Brentford in the commentary. And then it's going to be Forrest, Millsborough, Wickham in the last episode. It's so close, it's ridiculous. Two points separate, third and first. And the difference is just huge between those positions. Automatic promotion and the playoffs is just... It's monumental. And you've seen what we've done, right? Because we, we're quite a top-heavy attacking team. We've got forwards that can quite easily just go very cold on a game. And if they do that in a one-off game, we could that could be us out, right? So we like we absolutely have to make sure we go up automatically. We cannot afford the playoffs. But off camera, it's been a bit hit and miss in the month of March in this game here. But I think we're on the right track in the last couple of games. We've got a lot of our players back. One big change. Matt Clock goes into the starting eleven. He's been absolutely brilliant. He's got three goals in five games at centre back. And he's just been very good. His average match rating is very good. And I think if you look at his stats here, even comparing him to our best player, he's actually quite decent across the board. 100% tackle ratio. That's ridiculous. Pass completion is extremely high as well. He just looks really good. So I'm really happy with Matt Clark. And he hardly ever clears it away. So we have only got one player out for this game. It's going to be Remy Vita. And left back could be an issue next year if we don't get promoted because I let Mark Bowler's contract run out, apparently, which I didn't realise. And he signed for somebody else. So if we go up, not a big deal. If we don't go up, big loss. Here we go then. Blackburn away, massive, massive. I cannot stress how important this game is. And also, what's quite interesting, for those of you that have seen Moneyball, I've got the Oakland days on in the background there um, as I'm playing this game. So it's quite fitting here for the Moneyball series. And here we go. This is so important. Assistant manager says, we've been on a good run and got that impressed me. Okay. Here we go. They're playing a narrow diamond. Don't like playing against a narrow diamond. Oh, there's a corner early on. They nearly score early doors. Come on, boys. This is our first team. This is the best possible team we can put out except for left back. That's it. But Mark Bowler is probably the best back at play we've got for any other position. Bradley Dack shoots and it goes over. Barkusen with a throw to Bradley Dack. Back to Bradley Potts. Uh, to Barkusen. To Dack. To Barkusen. Got to get in the box. Look at this 2v2. What is it? Come on. Admiral's got the finish. Let's point on to Barnsley. Come on, boys. Let's see this game in 3D because I didn't actually see what happened. It looked a bit calamitous, to be honest, but like we have to get the ball in the box there because we, we're 2v2 at the back. We can't afford to be messing around with this. Oh, it's like a near post header. The keeper's calamitous. Thank you very much. 1-0. Come on. I just hurt my wrist then celebrating. That hurt. It's got a big yellow card. It's a free kick to Barnsley. This could be a goal because the way it started the highlight. Admiral. Oh, no. Bowler's injured. I thought this might happen. I've actually put Wilkes on the bench because he's left footed and he can play left by not he can play left back he cannot play left back but he's left footed because it stops me having to put Clark out there because I don't think Clark's that fast yeah it doesn't even mention his pace at all so the only solution is to put a left footer there and that's going to be Wilkes a out a unfit out of form striker at left back brilliant Reading winning 1-0 away from home that is not good for us so they go long here they're going to hit the ball to the left hand side we've got basically two forwards at full back and Barkus and one of them gets the tackle in. He's played, for, he's played there for a little while now, though, so he should be fine. Gives it to Marvin. Marvin back to Barkus and to Burkhardt. You've got a player here if you want to use him. Big Admiral wants it. Give it to Admiral. Admiral Car Insurance. Josh Coyle. Yes, come on! 2 0 to Barnsley. Come on, boys. Admiral just gets in the way. Just absolutely doing nothing but getting in the way. Bradley Dak to Josh Coyle makes a great run. What a finish as well. Go on the goalkeeper. 2 0. Things are going well, but no, you're capable of even better. Come on. We're just surviving this match with our. Backup striker at left back. Come on. Morgan Wilkes. And the only reason I selected him is, it, he, is because he's left footed. That's the only reason. And the way the tactic is balanced out, I thought that's a better option than anything else. Oh, that was close. Rather than putting like a right footed full back. Have we even got anybody else that could go in there? No, I mean, Frankie Kent going centre back and then Clark going left back is the only other option we've got, really. I might do that later on in the game. Brad Potts has got a 6.6. .6. He's going to come up and put Ryan Ledson there. And they hit the post. That might be the next sub then. is going to be the left back. Who comes off though? Burkhart, I suppose. I could put... Oh, no. Yeah, we're going to have to make the change. Let's put Josh Coyote. No, let's put Admiral on the right wing. Coyote can go there. Wilkes can go there. Frankie Kent comes in. And then Clark can go there. Let's try all of those moving parts. See what happens. It's, it's a highlight right before. I was going to go defensive. Tom Barkusen has it on the right-hand side. Plays it to Admiral on the right wing now. Back to Tom Barkusen. 
Plays into Admiral. Hopefully he's on the side of his. Could be a goal. Horgan gets on the far side. Back to Clark. Clark to Ledson. To Horgan. Daryl Horgan shoots. Daddy Dak. Yes! Come on! 3-1. Come on! On the Red Hot. Come on, boys. Right now we're going top of the league. Oh, Peter, have come back. Come on, boys. I'm not going to go defensive unless they score. Because I don't want them... I don't want to go defensive them score unless we just sat with our current tactic with them to beat us. Fuck, that was close. Want to give us at least something to go to if they get one. Oh, Redden have scored again. And that is going to do it. 3-1 victory for Barnsley. Well done, lads, going for us. Massive win. Bolo is probably going to be back for the next game and he's suspended anyway, so that's not great. He's going to have to just play. However unfit he is, he's starting that game. I don't care. Okay, I'll see you in a few days then for the Norwich game. Here we go then. This is such an important game. I can't even stress it. Look at that. It's still 1.6 games to go. We can look back on this episode at the end and probably know that this is where it was won and lost. If we win, we can go two games worth of points between us and Norwich. That's massive. That is absolutely huge. And we've got such a chance. We're at home. We're pretty much fully fit, except for the left back, who will probably get subbed off at some point. Oh, come on, boys. Somebody please be a hero. Josh Coyote missed two penalties in a row and cost us, I think, four points from it, because twice we were drawing and twice we couldn't win. So he's taken off penalties. And Burkhardt's at the last one. He did score it, so there we go. I don't know what this manager said. I don't even care. Let's go, boys. Just get out there. Gary Wackett, Mike Bassett, England manager. That's what we want. One of those. Right, said fire up. First shout. Nothing's happened yet. 4 3 3 and 74 Norwich. 20 minutes, nothing's happened. If you think Bradley Dak's out of position, you should see Barkus in, mate. Well, the first half, there was not a single highlight. Follow everybody's efforts so far. Do, do, do. What should we say here? Win it for the fans. We'll say that. Um, Mark Bowler is on a 6.4 and he's not playing well and he's nervous. So that's the game trying to tell us that they're going to fuck us for that. If we don't change it, I mean, Matt Clark's going to have to go back to the left back again, isn't he? Just about play there. Oh, I'm dreading it. I'm absolutely dreading that. Bolo can give us like 10 minutes. Oh, he's on a 6.3 now as Bolo. Not even risking this. There's just no point in risking that. Second change is going to be Horgan off and then probably, oof. Cornick, isn't it? Yeah, Cornick on the left side. Last change. Pots off, Ledson on. I like immediately on though. Ledson gets on it on though. Clark at left back. He dribbles past one. Give it, give it to somebody who can play, mate. You cannot play. Admiral Nishan Burkhart. Is he offside? No, he's offside. I like here they go in behind. Frankie gets, gets to it. Barkusen gets on the right hand side. He's got to give to somebody else now. Bradley Dak. Dak to Burkhart. The freshness on the left side, if you want to get the ball to that side, Admiral has it into Bradley Dak. Come on, boys, Burkhart. The momentum's building. I can feel it coming. Here it comes. Cornick at the far post. Admiral's offside as well. I don't believe it. And it's nil nil. Just a massive opportunity missed, is what that is. Doesn't cost us, but it's an opportunity missed. I was have a chance to take the lead in that title race there and the promotion race. Going, I really thought we'd do it. I really thought we'd win that game and take control if we were going to get promoted. Now, that becomes a huge game. That's our most difficult game next. Our next episode is probably the biggest trouble that we have. It's Brentford away. And if we were to lose that, that'd be two games in a row without a win. Then it'd be Coventry away who aren't very good. But with back-to-back -back games without winning, it could be a difficult game. So let's, if they've got to play each other, please tell me they play each other still. That would be hilarious. They do. Oh, these two idiots play each other. Reading and Norwich have to play each other in two games. Time. So next episode, we'll know what the outcome of that is. And Reading have got... Cardiff and Norwich away. So the best chance for them to drop points is in the next two games and they'll probably win those last three. Norwich, on the other hand, Norwich are probably Norwich have probably got the easiest fixtures because if they can beat Forest at home and then they, they do beat Reading at home, that leaves them on a good undefeated run for those last three. I can't see them dropping points maybe on that game, that very last game. So we probably want Norwich to beat Reading and go on a wonder run and then hope that Reading can drop points in the next two games and give us like they can draw there and lose there. That's four points extra we have on Reading. And there's three points clear. That's all it would put us, though. But it would allow us to drop points once, or at least lose one game or draw. I can see us dropping points twice, maximum. I don't think we'll drop points three times. More than likely, if I had to guess, if you look at recent form, you'd say that in that period there, one of those is going to be a draw. Probably Brentford next. That's, the, that's why it was so important to win that bloody game, right? Well, that's going to do the episode. It's still so close. The only other positive we can have 
is every game from now to the end of the season, we're going to have like a full rest between each game. That helps us massively. So we have to worry about tiredness. Like we had to worry about that in this game. And we're going to have, everybody should be back fully fit and not suspended. So we've got, we have got that at the moment to look forward to. This could go any which way. And it's just, it, the ramifications for the rest of the series are just huge. So ramifications for the rest of the series are just absolutely massive. So that's going to the episode. I really hope you're enjoying the series. I'm still enjoying bringing this to you and doing it. And it's hard to be, positive or negative at this point it's just about being neutral and trying to get to the next game and seeing what happens because it's all a knife edge that is going to do the episode thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next one